give it a start. Wait a minute. I'm gonna give it a start because this is the first meeting that y'all have had in months. And the fact that there are not enough board members right now is a disrespect to the community. I am so angry right now because this is supposed to be a community review board and there are members of this board that I have not seen in months. And so what does that tell me? That tells me that those people are not taking serious this job. That tells me that y'all are not taking our, our safety Don't seriously. Don't say y'all because we're, we're here. here. And if you want to talk to us, come on up, have a seat, take two minutes, go first, that's fine. But y'all are all bored, right? And so why are you, where, like, where We're is everybody else? Are here. So please just talk to us. If, if the purpose of this is to yell at us for members who aren't here, then it's not constructive. I thought you had a substantive set of issues that you wanted to have oh. us hear about. If not, we can bring We have to lots it. of issues, but I just want to voice first that this is really disappointing to see, that this is supposed to be a community review board, but half of the members are missing. And so my question is, what are we doing to make sure that this doesn't happen again? Because it really sucks that we're all, like, we all here in this room are wasting our time with this. Because action could have been taken, especially around a very illegal gang database criteria that's currently being in use right now. And we could definitely go more into this. That's what Justice was hanging out. That's what we really wanted to talk about today was these 15 points, as much as 11 of them are in direct violation of the CSA, which is law that seems to be kept broken over and over again by the Providence Police Department. So I'm riled up right now because I was hoping to see so many more people here, see board members here, and it just breaks my heart that there aren't. So I'm yelling because I'm angry because I've had a lot of coffee today because caffeine is hitting me really hard right now and this situation is not making it any better. But so what we did pass out was an APRA request that Justice had put through a couple weeks ago and we got back information on many documents, one of them being the um, intelligence assessment database that's also known as the gang database that's being run by the Providence Violent Crimes Task Force which is all heavily coded language to say the Providence Gang Unit has an illegal gang database that is un fundamentally illegal that is against the CSA that is something that y'all did not have a chance to review at all as far as I know we were not made aware until this Apple request that this database had been in operation since December of 2018 that's why I'm really angry right now. Because it seems like as much as the Providence Police Department wants to talk about you know, having transparency and being accountable and making sure, yeah, we'll get you everything, where the hell was this? Because we've been telling our community members there is no gang database, let's get you, make sure that you're not on this database, let's make sure that you're not being profiled based on your race, let's make sure that you are safe. And now, I gotta go back to community members and tell them, hey, actually, I should have lied to you but because I was lied to. So I'm just a little upset right now because I'm being made a fool on all sorts of areas right now. There's also a couple of other things in here, such as a deleted person's report, looking at how many people were deleted from the gang database. This is also really concerning because the Providence Police has maintained that there is no actively maintained database. But you can see here that that's not true because during the time that supposedly there was no maintained database, you have people being deleted. And so now I'm wondering who had access to this database, who was doing deleting, why were they being deleted? I thought people couldn't be deleted. We were being told that, you know, that there is no actively maintained gang database. So now I'm really concerned about what the hell is going on? Because it seems like I'm being lied to left and right, and I really don't like that. There is also a couple of other documents in here that we passed out. There is one saying how many people have challenged the database, which says zero. We know is false. Which we know is false because Daniel has been submitting numerous gang database inquiries. Mm -hmm. There's also a breakdown of the gang database, or I'm sorry, the intelligence assessment database, um, gang database, and it breaks down by demographics, ethnicities, races, gender, um, things like that, which is also really concerning because. It says here there's only 15 Asian Pacific Islanders on this gang database, but we know that's not true. Mm -hmm. It's saying that a, like half of the gang database is white people, and it's saying that more than half of the gang database is um, black people. And so for us, based on the co interactions that we've had community members, we know that's not true. So again, we're being concerned how people are being fit into, how people are being categorized in these gang databases, especially when it comes to Southeast Asians. So there's a lot of information in here. I highly encourage all of you to please read it thoroughly. And if you have any questions, talk to me, talk to Justice, who was the one who submitted the ABRA request. And just 
you know, y'all saying like, yeah, we're gonna have to come back and say this again. I have been saying that we should not trust the Providence Police Department and just police in general for years now. This is not something I don't mind coming back and repeating it again and again and again until our community concerns are actually being heard and validated and recognized and action is then appropriately being taken when there is, of course, a quorum. So, if you have any questions about these, please, I think Justice might give you a bigger breakdown of it, but yeah, I'm just, where is everybody? <laughs> oh, for the record, my name is Vanessa Flores Maldonado. I am the CSA campaign coordinator. Vanessa, thank you for bringing in Justice and anyone else who was involved in bringing this to our attention. We can't get into a whole conversation, but we can say how much we appreciate that I don't believe we would have necessarily seen this had you not brought it forth. So clearly you are doing your jobs of keeping us informed and, and we appreciate it and we maybe are better off that we have more time to understand it, learn about it, and investigate it so we can have a more robust conversation at a meeting with a forum. I think that's actually the case. What's, uh, 